Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video. This one is pretty obvious to some of you what it is. This photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers who found this in his change. Uh, we're going to talk about it here in a second, but first, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, check out our link down below and in the upper right hand corner uh, to our website store, jbcoinsinc.com where we have the error and variety coin lists and links to helpful products we use that you can buy from those links. Now, what you see is a die chip between the B and the E. This condition and similar um, chips, they might be slightly different uh, shape to them, but if they're in this location and they create this image, of B I E, that's what is that when you hear someone referring to a B I E coin, this is what they're referring to that they have found a coin where there's a die chip in Liberty between the B and the E, connecting them and therefore creating a B I E coin. The interesting thing is that this chip, this condition, exists only on pennies, it doesn't exist on any other denomination but it's fairly common on pennies. Now this one is off of a 55S uh, in really nice condition, which is also the most common coin to find this on. Now obviously most people look at the 55S looking for the double die and trying to hit a home run, but a lot of the really nice 55Ss that are not double dies are BIEs and they sell for decent money as well if they're in really nice shape. But they also exist on a lot of other years. So if you look at, for example, in 1960, there are some back to the 30s and 40s. There are some more recent than 55 uh, in the 60s and 70s, uh, and I believe even into the 80s. So if you find one like this, don't assume that just because they're common, that they're not worth anything. Because depending on condition, if they're in nice shape like this, they can certainly bring anywhere from $50 to $500 to possibly more, depending on the overall condition of the coin. And if you have a nice clean version of one like this, if you have one that's got a whole bunch of chips throughout the word Liberty, it kind of tends to muddy the waters in terms of value. But if you have one that's just like this, um, this is about as perfect as it gets in terms of an example, which is why we use the picture. So the cool thing is it is fairly common to find. It is something you can find in your pocket. It is something you can find in your change. It is something you can find coin roll hunting. You can find it just about anywhere and you can find it on just about any date. So any penny that you look at, I would even look at the new ones. Look at the pennies, look at the, the, the word Liberty and see if you have this or something close to this on that coin. Because if you do, you have found yourself a legitimate BIE penny. So this one is a very possible coin to find and, and you really could have a lot of fun with it. So hope you guys found this interesting and helpful. As always, please leave comments below and please like share and hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video, live stream, or have a giveaway. And until next time, J&B signing out.